The Xbox One is now out, and uh, we're here to show you off some of the dashboard features and the snap features and stuff Which like that. Which really is the main difference between the PlayStation and the Xbox, is this menu stuff and the snap stuff. It's insanely impressive so far. It's cool. So as you can see right now, I'm playing Dead Rising. Uh, I'm on the opening scene right here. And on the right, I have the NFL scores scrolling through. So you can see the Broncos are 9-1, and one, and they're about to beat the Patriots on Sunday yeah. at uh, 6.30 Eastern. Or 6.30. No, that's local time, actually. Yeah. 6.30 here. So, um, and what you can do is, now, they don't really explain this, and this is a very handy feature. If you double tap the guide button, so, like, right now, I'm running around in a circle in Dead Rising. If you double tap the guide button, you switch to control of the thing on the right. So I'm going to go to NFL Network. Nope. Let's go to... This is kind of slow. Broncos! So I have the Broncos set as my favorite team. You can see the last game. They won against the Chiefs. You can look at the whole schedule and whatever other stuff they have set up. But you can also switch to other apps. Uh, so let's do... Oh, you can... Have, so this is freaking slick, too. So let's... So, like, the really impressive thing about this is, like, the ability to listen to multiple things and do multiple things simultaneously. So, right now, it's going to play this little video. I think it is. Where's the audio for it? Hmm. Hmm. I guess there's no audio for that. But what you can do is Xbox, Snap TV. So it's loading. We have the uh, we have the Comcast box. Stop listening. Here on this edition of NFL Live. Ah, so that's why I wasn't playing. So, uh, yeah, the 50th anniversary of Kennedy is when the Xbox One comes out. No, oh. or the Kennedy assassination. So, uh, I have the Xbox or the HDMI from the Comcast box set to the back of the the Xbox One, so I can be playing Dead Rising while watching Sports Center or listening to Sports Center. So if you've got a boring game that you don't need the audio on and you just want to know about fantasy updates or if you have NFL Red Zone or something like that, you can just have that running while you're playing Dead Rising. Yeah, which is insane. It's awesome. It's crazy. It's like it's built for me who listens to podcasts all the time while I play games because you're not into the cutscenes or the story. No, not at all. So, this is insane. So, uh, Xbox, watch Comedy Central. So, on the thing on the right, stop listening. Stop listening. You really have to get in the habit of telling it to stop listening, or else it will accidentally change stuff a lot. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you just say Comedy Central and uh, it automatically switches to the right thing. Yeah, which is freaking nuts. So let's take a look at the actual dashboard and some of the other apps. Um, so it's still freaking running Comedy Central and Dead Rising while I'm navigating these menus. And I can switch to Netflix. And it's got the thing on the side. Uh, here's John. Xbox, snap off. Unsnap is the... Unsnap? Yeah. Xbox, unsnap. And now we got full screen. Uh, Xbox, select two. Come on, Xbox, you gotta turn it up. Select two. It's not like there's sound. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so it's strange, like we've noticed that the Xbox voice commands with Connect are actually um, less accurate like when when it configures your voice for connect it measures the the volume coming out of your speakers and when you have nothing coming out of your speakers because we're recording a microphone right now or very low coming out of the speakers that connect is actually less accurate that's what it seems like that's after it seems like 10 minutes of use <laughs> yeah. Yeah. anyway so let's take a long look at the tv features here's some tips to get you started xbox snap off oh wait no i said tv unsnap well, I wanted to oh. turn off, uh, but you can just go full screen through the TV really, qu through the TV really quickly. Uh, and if you just hit the guy, like if you don't like these connect features, it's really easy. You just hit the A button, and it's got all the DVR stuff built into it. You can go to your TV listings. 
Favorite channels? Yeah, favorite channels which Comcast never had. So let's. Uh, they do. Channels. It's just not implemented that well. Right. So Comedy Central. Add to favorites. Uh, I like the Travel Channel, Fox Sports. Actually, no, Fox Sports doesn't have soccer. Anymore. Disney XD. That's your favorite. <laughs> Uh, uh, keeping up with the Kardashians, oh John. Oh my god, my favorite. So let's go to... Let's add ESPN, just so we know what it looks like. Oh, Altitude, that's a good station to add. To the favorites. That's not weird. It's not weird at all. Red Zone, that's an important one to add to favorites. Oh, that's, that's good enough for yeah. now. Uh, so yeah, we got the favorites, and you can just navigate through all the favorites right here. Just freaking crazy. Or you can just say what channel you want. And then the app, or the... The channels, or the apps that have, like, the NFL app has a channel on here. So you can just watch a stream of NFL videos. So this is through the NFL app right now. So within the Comcast, like, within the Watch TV thing, it's booting up the NFL app. So yeah. you can watch Dave Damashek talk about his favorite five things, or his least favorite five things of the week. Yeah, that's cool. The only thing... And I assume this is all coming through the internet. Yeah. What do you mean the internet? Where else would it come from? The TV. Oh, uh, like Comcast. So you have to have cable TV and cable internet for what we're doing. Right. Well, you could hook up the PlayStation to the back of this and say, <laughs> Xbox, play TV, but it's actually the PlayStation. Um, so yeah, you can like look at your... Stop listening. Oh, thank you. So yeah, I can look at like Bronco stuff while I'm watching NFL clips and team videos. Uh, oops. Brady versus Manning this Sunday. So it's incredibly slick. How like how well this stuff is designed. Uh, so to get out of this, you hit the guide button. Um, let's take a look let's at look what other apps you have. My games and apps. Yeah, let's see what else we have. <clears throat> we showed Netflix. Let's take a look at Twitch because <laughs> the PlayStation 4 has Twitch streaming built in, but it doesn't actually have Twitch watching, full and Twitch watching. And Xbox in. is the opposite. But Xbox does not have Twitch streaming built in, but you can watch anything on Twitch. So the PlayStation, you can't watch League of Legends, but you can... Or, wait, I mixed that up. Xbox, oh. you can watch. Mm -hmm. PlayStation, you can stream. Right. And I guess commercial for Anchorman. It's appropriate. Hey. Making a video, showing it off. Um, so, what else? Yeah, and you can browse channels. Oh, I should be streaming right now so I can find myself on there. Yeah. That would be fucking awesome. Oh, well. Uh, let's take a look at some other apps. <clears throat> Take a look at YouTube. YouTube. That is really bright red. So we're logged in. Oh, the Rise trailer. The Rise. Xbox One launch. Xbox uploaded. So you're logged in. It's got I'm, all your subscriptions. I'm logged in as Wiki Game Guys right now. So we can actually... <laughs> it's alright. Wait, where are my videos? Here we go. My uploads. Oh, my most recent video of how to set up the Xbox One. Wow. Which is kind of ironic because we're making a video <laughs> for showing off the dashboard. And that looks like shit, actually. Why is that so compressed? Uh, possibly because it's still... Um, oh, it might be still processing, processing on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Well, let's look at something. Xbox One unboxing. That should be processed. This one... Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Yeah. Like, we just filmed this seconds ago, <laughs> and now we're watching it on YouTube. On the Xbox. On the Xbox One. This thing, like, this was, like, an hour ago that we were unboxing this. Yeah. And now we're watching it through this okay. device. And you can watch unboxing. it while you play the game. Yeah. Xbox. Go to Dead Rising 3. That's cool. Silver. So... Now I'm, oh, Xbox, Snap, YouTube. No, not Snap Music. <laughs> Xbox, play Dead Rising 3. Hmm, it's 
kind of inconsistent with that. Sometimes it's best just to use the controller still. Well, and you have a problem mumbling, so. I'm not mumbling at all. I'm projecting, <laughs> asshole. Xbox. Snap YouTube. Nope, not music. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, we tried with that. I guess it doesn't really recognize YouTube too well. Uh, what other apps did you want to show off? Uh, I think that's the main one. Well, yeah, let's take a look at the new friends list and achievements and all that kind of okay. stuff, and then um, we'll get out of this. So they completely stop listening. Stop listening. Yeah, thank you. Xbox, stop listening, you creeper. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So they changed Xbox Live now. So uh, instead of only having a hundred friends maximum, mm -hmm. it's more like Twitter. So anybody can follow me, and I can have up to a thousand friends. Which Pretty is good. really cool. So if you want to follow me on the X Bone, I just changed my gamer tag this afternoon to John Tar Jr. So I'm the happy steak. Mm -hmm. I think he's kind of drunk looking. He is. His his eyes are kind of sagging. He's you know he's just, happy. He's, he's on the prowl. Yeah, he's happy. Uh, you can change the different colors of like the overall theme, but. Every other one that I've tried looks like crap compared to the default one, but let's change it anyway, just to show what it's like. Broncos orange, of course. Ugh, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, and then, so like this is your kind of feed. So if I'm following, or these are my friends on Xbox Live, so Finn Large, who I know also has an Xbox One right now, just started uh, watching Netflix. Look at the achievements. Now these are the featured challenges. This is a new system that they have where, uh, so in Killer Instinct, if you perform an ultra, which I guess is just I fatality, know, a fatality, something like that, you get a big white square. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, something. Some of the other things have been better, but like Twitch has achievements, the NFL app has achievements. Let's take a look at the NFL, oops, at the NFL app. <clears throat> You're obsessed with the NFL app. It's all you want to look at. Well, what do you want to look at? So I can say something. <laughs> I think the Twitch achievements are more interesting than the NFL achievements. Oh, okay. What are the Twitch achievements? Uh, watch like one hipster. hour. Oh, dude, it gives you progress. Hipster's a cool one. No, look at this. Yeah. Watch one hour of live video on Twitch, and there's a progress bar on the bottom. I didn't notice that. That's built in. So that used to be something that the gamers, or that the gamers, the game developers had to build in. Like, I think Gears of War kind of perfected that back in the day. I think, yeah. They um, started it, at yeah. least. So watch 10 hours. Watch one hour of live video of Twitch channels that have less than 10, video, 10 viewers. That's a great achievement. Yeah. I like that, because it encourages people to check out Some channels that are, like, unheard of. And up and coming. Yeah. Possibly. So there's, yeah, you can get a whole bunch of achievements for using the Twitch app, which is kind of freaking crazy. I don't think there's any Netflix achievements, unfortunately. I got my day one Xbox Live achievement. It scanned a QR code. Stop listening. It scanned a QR code flawlessly. Stop listening. How did I end up on this? <laughs> what is going on? I don't, okay, I'm like 50-50 on the connect voice commands right now. What am I watching? I don't even know what I'm watching right now. TV. Jesus Christ, how did I end up on that? <laughs> Probably because I, I was saying, because like we're both talking, we're both saying the word Xbox a lot. <laughs> yeah. Xbox is like that fucking loser who thinks everybody's like, you know, he thinks he hears someone says their name. Like, what? What? Did you say my name? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah, Sorry. stop listening, asshole. <laughs> stop fucking listening to my conversations, you creeper. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. What else do you want to show off? Oh, oh how do you look at, like, active friends? Or is that it, really? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean... Um, so if you go left, these are your... All, all the boxes on the left. To the left, to the left. These are your pin boxes. I know I didn't pin SkyDrive, so I don't know why that's there. But I think you're going to be able to set up SkyDrive to play videos off of your PC. Yeah. Which is really slick. I don't, it's kind of like Dropbox. Yeah, SkyDrive is Microsoft's uh, Dropbox competitor. Um, and whether or not that's going to be able to play stuff you torrent, I will let you know soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching the video. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And uh, follow me on Xbox One, John Tar JR.
And same thing on Twitter, actually, too. All right. Anything else you want to check out? That's that's looks good to me. All right. Game on. Game on.